So in this panel, as you can see, um, it breaks down to two uh, singular parts. The first part is the left side, and the left side is where you will do all your research. Everything in regard to your research of the article will be done on this side. All of the uh, details, info, and data we present will always be on the left side of the screen. On the right side of the screen, as you can see here in this, we call it outline panel. He, from, this is the panel where you will start by putting on the general information of your content. First of all, what is the title of your content? Over here, there's a little button and that is our AI assistant. You can simply click on it to, uh, and our AI will generate, will actually take on, will, will, <laughs> will generate a title based on the content, in uh, the, the keyword in which you have had. Uh, right here and use that keyword to generate different kind of title and content for you. Um, how to utilize this AI part, I will go in a bit more detail on our AI assistant tutorial in our next videos. Second, uh, as you can see, this is the, the, the AI assistant button over here uh, disabled in the beginning because that you need, uh, will need the info of the title in order to, to write a description based on that. So once you have a title or description, let's just do a quick one here. Click generate, uh, how to lose seven way to make health plan more sustainable. Uh, maybe I like some other ideas. Um, how to find the best insurance plan for your family. I click add, confirm, it will replace in here. I click on this one, click generate. It will based on the description. How do you know what to eat? Uh, create health environment and this article how do you find out? Oh, this is great. I can just add that in here. And uh, then below that, it will be, you will set the content structure. So our algorithm uh, will automatically set out the uh, amount of words that we believe you should at least as the minimum to, to, to write your content. And this one, as you scroll up and down, you'll see that how, how much longer it is uh, compared to your competitors. So I usually will place it above 70% of our competitor. And to be safe, maybe we can go to like 80, 80%, and that'll be a thousand three uh, word blog post. And I think that's a very safe amount. So as you scroll here, we'll also provide you with the amount of headings that build automatically scale with the amount of words that you have. But you can also increase or decrease and setting the headings by clicking on this button right here. And you also can increase and decrease um, the amount of paragraph, right? I like to have more paragraph in our blog post. Um, image, I think uh, we can do around six. Click done. After that, you simply click save. So from, from here on, you will see that this panel become an open panel for your, all your outlines to develop. Uh, if, you, if you function on a smaller screen and you want more real estate to build outlines, after you have seen this um, being set, you can simply click on this uh, scroll up button on the corner right of the screen. And that is where you have the most amount of real estate for you to start building your outlines. Or if you use a bigger screen, you can just leave it there so that you always know what your title and description that you built. Okay, so that's the first part. It's the layout of the tool. And the right side is the outline here. On the left side, in regard to the research area, um, usually you have different touch points where you want to derive, uh, derive uh, the data for your research. The first part, very important, is the competitive analysis. And in the competitive analysis, we show you data from the top 20 competitors of uh, the keyword, the C keyword that you target. So as you can see here, these are the top 20 competitors. Uh, we'll give you an, uh, 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 an insight of how many percentage of the content on the first page of Google are articles. Right, um, and basically, what it means is the higher percent, the higher the percentage, the better an article will do for this keyword. What this means is that we want to measure and see whether or not the keyword that you're targeting on uh, are actually being ranked by other article or blog posts, or is being ranked by e-commerce site. Because if it is being ranked for e-commerce site, there's a lower chance for you to actually be able to rank for that article, right? Um, so secondly, you can then access um, the panel, uh, oh, sorry, the panel below is Google Suggest Insight. So from here, you'll be able to see people also ask questions. So these are a list of all the questions that people actually ask, uh, also ask. So we actually derive from multiple sources, not only from people also ask panel 
in the search uh, page, uh, but also we derive from Google Suggest database. And we look for everything that we got as a questions to show you so that you have the largest point of view when it comes to Google search intent. Second are all the topics that people may be discussing, um, how some of the ideas that people are comparing. Uh, and you can also access Reddit topic. So see how people are asking questions on Reddit, Reddit topic. So that is the two panel that in regard to the research point. So these are different touch point. So from here, um, you will then be able to start setting your outline. So by setting your outline, you can simply click on any of the competitor to first study the competitor. So if you click on the competitor, the a panel that will pop out from the left side of the outline panel will pop out here. And from here, you'll be able to see the summary views of the content uh, of your first competitor here. So in this summary views, essentially what it is, is that our AI go into the content, go into the content of the website side and derive that into an outline basis. It's summarized, right? Um, H1, H2, uh, all the all the headings and all the paragraph that be be below the headings, the description here as well. Um, our our AI are also provide you with FAQ uh, view. So from here, what it is is that um, our AI go into the content of the website and help you generate, turn that content into a FAQ format. So simply click on this. I will go more in details later on with the tutorial on the AI. So as you can see here. That is some of the um, questions that was derived from the first article. All right. So in the summary views, um, in order for you to build the outlines, you simply click on the outlines that you like, and they will pop up this uh, this this pop. Sorry, this this drop down. And in this drop down, you can see uh, you can add that to outlines or simply double click. So if you hover here, you like anything, just double click and it will appear here as H2, right here. And whatever form that appear in this outlines, it will appear at the similar things, uh, a similar format onto your outlines. For example, if this is H1 and over here it will, I mean, it will turn out to H2 because this is your H1 already. And um, this, is, um, this is a bullet point and this will come here as a bullet point, all right? Intermittent fasting, I like this, I like this. I like this, okay? For other stuff that you can build is where you will start building using our AI shortcut. For example, start to expand it using our orienting, topic, paragraph, rewrite, copy, um, all of that as you can hover and, and, and build. So whatever it is, it's very easy for you to choose and build and copy and put that into your outlines. And from these outlines, you can um, build them based on uh, clicking by clicking on the AI shortcut here as well. So all of this are an integral part of how you build outline. And I will go a lot more details in the next videos where we will go in depth of how you can utilize the AI assistant throughout this entire process, right? Uh, but in these videos, I focus mainly on how you can just use um, the tool to build the outline itself. So from that is from this panel. So from here, you can just simply, oh, actually one more thing. You can click on here to access the top 20 directly from this panel as well. So, so you don't have to go out and then do it in again. Then you can scroll down and anything you like from here, it does the same thing. You can simply click on it and the question that you like and it will automatically uh, put on uh, over here. And there's one, one thing that I wanna notify to you is, uh, the clicking mechanism now is that when you click on here, the, 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 the outlines will appear right below whatever chosen card that you have at this moment. For example, if you click on this, this is a chosen card. When you hover here, you will see a line, a blue light that go underneath the card on the right side. So we want to highlight for you to make sure that uh, whatever item that you choose that is where it will go, right? So you click on here and it will appear here as a highlight. Usually you go on the form of H2. So you just simply click on it and you turn that into whatever format that you would like it to be, all right? Uh, so another upgrade on this outline article is as you hover here. So for Mac, you can hold, hold command or for window, you can hold control for multi-select. So for example, you like to multi-select this. Oh, that's shift. For sorry, shift. 
uh, and you can turn this into bullet point. Click and it all become bullet point. You can move it around, right? Uh, as the whole, or you can move one around as just one single article. So as you see here, you can move it around here. You can turn this into H3 or H4. And if you don't like anything, you can actually click on the button called remove all. So if you can remove all, we'll ask you to, you sure you want to remove all our live, you can confirm all the outline will be gone. Or you can add more line. So as you can see here, if you hover on add line, the green line also again will appear below, right? If you click on this, add on line, it will go underneath. And double click on it, and then you can then write on, uh, write your card right over here, right? Uh, once you're done writing your card, so for example, if you want to change the content in between this, just double click, and you will get into this box to edit. And once you've done the edit, just simply click yes, and that's 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 basically it. If you don't like any card from here, you can just click on the button delete, and it will be gone. All right, or you can multi-select and click delete and be gone. Very easy. So the way we build it is that we try to make this experience extremely easy and extremely um, fluid for you to, to build your outlines. So that is the overview as well as the structure and the function of this, uh, of, of, of the form and all of the basic uh, function of how you can utilize, uh, utilize the outline part. Right over here, as you can see, there's some data here to show you. I'll hope to see you in our next videos. And that would be where I go in details of how you can uh, utilize our AI assistant and all the templates needed for you to build a perfect outline uh, for, um, that, that, that will win uh, for your ranking game.